welcome back. We, okay, this is weird. This is really weird. It's really weird, okay? Remember last month in the Bugsy Jam, I was like complaining because like I feel like I always get it last. I got it early this month. Boxy charm? Hello? Are you in there? Like I think I think they're spying on me. I don't know. But um I got my boxy charm early this month and it is in a huge box. Like I almost like freaked out because I saw like this huge white box and I was like, what did I order? <laughs> the problems of online shopping. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, like, was not expecting a huge white box, because they always come in a black box, you know? But, uh, this is the Boxy Lux, so there are eight items in here, and, uh, they had a Boxy Pop-Up sale, which is where you can get stuff that, like, up to, like, 80% off, and I actually bought some stuff this time, because there was some good buys on there. Like, usually, like, I look, and there's usually, like, nothing that I really need or want, but this time, this time, I was like... Okay, deal. So, we're gonna start with the boxy uh, pop-up stuff that I bought because I'm really excited about it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, first off, like, oh my god, you guys, you're gonna freak. Natasha Denona, her highlighting palette for nine dollars. Nine dollars, guys. Like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I could not believe a Denona for nine dollars. So here is what it looks like, and here it is. Now, if you look down here, like the the pan looks kind of uh, like it's coming apart a little bit. I don't know, but honestly, I would use this lighter shade more anyway, so that's fine. Like I can still use it. You know, it was on sale. Not gonna not gonna complain. But yeah, I have a Denona highlighter now. I'm gonna put that with my Denona palette. Start a Denona collection, shall we? No, let's not because it's super expensive. I can't afford it, Lana. Stop, stop it. Okay, uh, the other thing that I bought also for $9 is um, <laughs> another Hank and Henry palette, okay? I finally found one that I like, and I'm hoping I'm gonna like this one too. This is the Berries palette, and uh, you're gonna see why I bought it. Take a big guess why. Look at all that purple. Look at all that purple. Like, I had to. I had to buy it. It's a purple palette. I should have had this in my purple palette video. I should have. Oh well. NT Way. $9 for a Hank and Henry palette, so that's a good buy. And then. Um, one of my previous BoxyCharm boxes, I uh, got a palette from a brand called Eloise, and it was a really good palette. I was really happy with it, and I've been wanting to try other stuff from them, but they're a UK brand, so it, like, costs a lot to get it shipped over here, so I just haven't, like, pulled the plug, pulled the plug, pulled the trigger on that. <laughs> Don't pull the plug on me. So... I saw this in their boxy pop-up for $3. It's a, like, liquid highlight, basically. Or no, it's a liquid eyeshadow. So, but it's pure gold. Let's see what she looks like. But I really wanted to try some other stuff from the brand was what I was getting at. And for $3, I can't pass that up. Ooh, that's like classy looking. I love that. And it's kind of a like a coppery gold color. It would go really well with this look I've got. I don't know why I did like a fall look like the beginning of spring. Okay, and it's just like a normal applicator. But very pretty. And for three dollars you can't beat that, right? So guess what I'm probably wearing to work tomorrow? That I wake up late, I literally just smear some like liquid eyeshadow on and go usually Bear Beauty or Elf, but I'll throw a Miss Eloise into the mix now. All right, so now we're getting into what's actually in my Poppy, my Poppy, my Boxy Lux box, that pop up on the brain. And of course, uh, March, it has a lucky theme. They're always after me lucky charms. I'm sorry. Is that offensive? I don't know. Okay. 
it's a cereal commercial, okay? So the first thing I am seeing right off the top is a eyeshadow palette called Barbarella. This is from B Beauty London. Meet the black book of color with subtle shades to straight up blasts of color, jet milled pigments to deliver intense saturated light reflective shades with gorgeous textures plus long lasting and non creasing silky and velvety finishes. This retails for $50 and it's a boxy exclusive. That's exciting. So let's see what she looks like because that description makes me happy, but sometimes the description is very misleading, Miss Violet Voss. So let's just see. Yeah, see, they said like intense colors, but that's kind of neutrally. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, it's pretty, don't get me wrong. But it is mostly like shimmery colors. There's not a whole lot of mattes. There's like one, two, three, four, five mattes. And it's like two browns, or actually, it's like two neutral colors, one brown, the blue, and the black over here are the mattes. And then everything else in here is shimmer. Like, I love shimmer, don't get me wrong, but like, you need more mattes. Okay, I'm critiquing already. We're gonna save that for the boxy Rick Rick Rewind, but um, yeah, that's disappointing. I'm just saying. So, one of the things that I chose to be in the box, because honestly, out of like their like second choice, like choice list, this was the best thing. It was the one that I would use the most, was a brush holder. This is by Gennaro Makeup Holder. How does it open though? Okay, here it is. Okay, so it's like a magnetic clasp. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've seen this at TJ Maxx. I'm not gonna lie. This looks very familiar. I do like that it has like a little like box. Like I could put stuff in this box. I say that every time I get a box, but like, I could put stuff in here. I need to organize so bad, guys. You have no idea. Anyway, here's what it looks like. So you got face, eyes, and lips section. Although I don't really have lip brushes. I just use liquid lips. But that's cute. She's cute. And that retails for, let me find it, $34. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then the other thing I chose, which I'm super excited about, you guys. Miss Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Lungwear Foundation. I am so excited to try this. I haven't I haven't tried her foundation. But we know I love my Riri. And I'm hoping I got the right shade. So, yeah, that's that's awfully light though. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Let me squirt a little bit onto my hand. I might have gone too light. Well, I mean, that might work. Honestly, let me, hold on. Let me squirt a little bit of my shade in Elf next to it and see. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little light. So I'm probably gonna have to mix that because, okay, there's what I use. <laughs> and then here's Riri's. I might have chose too light. a bad thing about getting online foundation and now I have foundation all over my hands hold up hold up I'm gonna give that a go but I'm probably gonna have to mix it with another foundation just because it was so light that's on me though that's on me I chose the shade that's on me 
Um, that is $36. Ooh, and it's supposed to be resistant to sweat and humidity. That is awesome because, like, that's, like, one of the reasons why, I, like, I kind of am glad during, you know, coronavirus I stopped wearing foundation at work because, like, I would sweat a lot of it off. So, like, once summer hits, I just do eyes. Anyway, just because I sweat it off. But thanks to coronavirus, I just do eyes anyway because no one sees my face. It's nice. All right. Next item up that I'm seeing is Kat Von D or KVD as they prefer to be called because they don't want to be associated with Kat Von D anymore. Can't blame them. Hi, vaccinate your kids. Um, this retails for $34 and is a Locket Edge foundation brush. Now, I don't really like foundation brushes. I'm more of a blender kind of girl. But I will give this a try. I just, I don't... Every foundation brush I've ever tried, it made my skin look oily. Like, I just, I don't like the finish when I use a brush. I don't know. It's very soft, though. And it's not, like, yeah, do you see this? Like, it's kind of like a, ew. Most foundation brushes I've ever seen are, like, completely flat. So that's interesting. I mean, that would, like, get into, like, the crevices. Like, that's, that's cool. I like that design. All right. I'm gonna give that a go then because who knows? Maybe it's just the shape of the brush. I'm gonna put that in my brush holder. And let's see, what do we got next? Ooh, you are gold. Whew. Um, this is AMNH Skincare. Kiss the Stars 24K Gold Lip Plumping Mask. That retails for $42. Oh, there's little like glitter stars in here. Can you guys see that? Okay, I like that. 24K Gold and Biodegradable Glitter Stars Lip Plumping Mask will moisturize and nourish your lips. Expect a tingling sensation and softer, kissable lips. Hey, baby. Okay, well, I'm gonna love that. Pardon the train. Oh, it smells minty. It smells like a cross between mint and like cough syrup. Okay, waiting for the train to pass. Our next item up is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. This retails for $42 and I have to smell it because I want to see if it smells like plum, you know? Like a little sugar plum fairy moment. And like the bottle is shaped like a little plum. Like see this little little plum butt crack going on? How cute! Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna squeeze out a little. Okay. It kind of smells a little bit like uh, the Plumeria lotion from Bath and Body Works. Like, kind of, sort of. Like, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good either, though. You know what I mean? Like, it smells like a hint of that, but also like a hint of like, I don't know. This is gonna sound weird, but like it kind of it smells like plumeria, but with like a hint of like like sweaty underboob. You know what I mean? Like summertime when the girls get sweaty, like that's interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna put sweaty underboob all over my face and we'll see how I feel about that. Hi, if you're new to the channel, I'm weird 
I describe things in very interesting ways sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Okay, our next item up is from Dominique Cosmetics. I do love that brand. And this is a lip liner, which I don't really use, so... I don't know that I even want to open this. It's in shade Crush, which is like a really pretty, like, light pink. I kind of want to see what the color actually is, though. Let's go ahead and open it up. But I'm not going to swatch it, because I'm probably going to end up putting this in a giveaway pile, which I need to do a giveaway. I say this every time, I'm like, giveaway stuff. Like, oh, I need to do a giveaway. Yeah. But, you know, I haven't organized it yet. I'm sorry, guys. I do plan on doing one. Okay, so it's kind of a, like a, a mauve pink. Which, you know, if you do a lot of, like, nude lips, like, this would be a really good color. But, <laughs> I don't really do nude lips. Like, I have, like, a few shades that are kind of nudish, but, like, I don't do nudes, dude. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that back for a giveaway, but that retails for $18, which I feel like that's pretty normal, you know, for a, like, lip liner or, you know, like, that's pretty on brand for her. I'm not mad about that. Okay, now... The last item in the box, Rose and Quartz Hair Mask, which I also will not use. However, Aunt Judy will use this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to Aunt Judy. Everyone remembers Aunt Judy, right? Everyone say hi to Aunt Judy. Um, your touch tone of hair products, the Rose and Quartz Hair Mask suits a spectrum of needs with 0% sulfate, sodium chloride, parabens, PEGs, and pesylates? PTH, I don't... <laughs> it suits all hair types and is safe for use with all chemical processes. That's, that's good to know, because we ladies do be dyeing our hair, am I right, ladies? Uh, vegan and certified cruelty-free. Made with love in the U.S. of A. That's great. All right, I'm gonna give that to Aunt Judy because she actually does water aerobics and the chlorine is killing her hair. So, hair mask might be something that she could really use right now. So that that works out well. That works out well. So, in total, I'm gonna use that disgusting palette. I'm sorry, I was like really, when they said like black book, I was thinking like black magic book, so I was thinking like spooky vibes, but with like pops of like crazy color, you know? And, and that's not what we got, like at all. Like I was expecting spooky ooky with like neon orange or neon, you know, colors. But that's not what they gave us, like at all. But I'm gonna use it. We'll see how it works. And then we've got the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Serum. I'm gonna use that to the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I will be using that, but I'm gonna have to mix it with something else because I'm a loser and I got the wrong shade. Hi. And the brush holder, I don't feel like I need to review that. It's just a brush holder, right? Like it sits there, it holds the brush. Pretty basic. The Get the D or KVD foundation brush. I'm going to review that for you. And the lip plumping mascaroni. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Heck yeah, I'm gonna do that. Gold on these lips. I mean, hi. Kind of already there. So that's that. And uh, I'll see you guys at Boxy Ricka Ricka Rewind. Love you. Bye.